Hey guys, we are here at Terrenea Resort in Palos Verdes. I hope you can hear me because you obviously can't read my lips. This is going to be a little staycation. I'm going to take you along for the trip so you can hang out and relax with us and kind of see what it's like to do a little staycation during lockdown and what measures that they are taking. So let's go ahead and have some fun. hear me because the audio outside we are doing a little staycation here at Terranea Resort in Palos Verdes supposedly they are taking a lot of measures in light of the pandemic and keeping things clean there are signs everywhere that say wear a mask there are signs saying you know entrance is this door exit is this door there are little spots on the ground in the lobby so you can you know distance yourself I do have some concerns that some of the safety measures that they're taking are just for show and you know I'm, I'm trying to be honest and give you a good sense of what it's like staying at a hotel in a pandemic so we were informed that they have suspended valet and bell service which means that they don't have a bellman or a bellwoman a bell person helping you with your luggage literally the room across from me had a bellman delivering luggage they clearly have not suspended a bell service it's still going on i came into the room and i'm going to show you around but when i came into the room and sanitized the wipe came back with dust i'll call it dust so let's call it dust okay the phone had dust on it and you would think you know if you're taking just in general like when you're cleaning a room, you think about the touch points, you know, light switches, doorknobs, phone, remote control, basic. But yeah, that's why I always, even before the pandemic, I always brought my own wipes. PSA guys, bring some wipes. So here we have a closet. The light comes on when you open it up. And you got a robe, just your basic closet. And right next door, you have a bathroom. So you do have this standalone tub right here. You do have a single sink here and a water closet, very unexciting, and a little shower stall. It is really small. It's a really small shower stall. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm spoiled because in Vegas, they're like way bigger, guys. Let's see. I also have some more Lusitan here. Okay, this soap is upside down. There we go. De details, guys. Details. <laughs> and now I'm trapped in the, in the shower. So that was the bathroom. You have the nice bed here, and I do want to show you these. I sanitized this already. How cool is this? You have a little reading light that's built into the bed. I love that. It is very, you know, beautifully done up. You do have your basic mini bar here. There is a fridge down in here. You know, basic fridge basic fridge this is not that exciting but you know in case you're like actually wondering what it's like to stay here that's what it's like they do give you a map of the property and at check-in they also gave us these wristbands that you have to wear at the pool um, apparently the pool closes at 5 p.m. and they also give you complimentary water bottles You do have a little mask in here and gloves 
and sanitizer. Um, I love this idea, but in theory, everyone should be coming with their own mask. So you do have this little seating area here. This is the phone I was telling you guys about. It was dusty before I wiped down, concerning. As large as this room is, there's nowhere else to put the luggage rack. You can't put it here because out this way, we have a balcony. enjoying a little bit of ice cream and good to be outdoors. They have a cute little boutique and everything here so and there are signs for masks everywhere. There's an inside door and an outside door so people aren't even going in and out in the same way. So they're outwardly taking steps but I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my sanitize soon and have some ice cream. It is about 8.30 in the evening and I ordered room service at 7 p.m. I got a confirmation at 7.06 saying that it would arrive in 60 minutes or less. It has been more than 60 minutes and my food still hasn't arrived. I placed a call and they said they had a large volume, which I totally understand. I'm sure most people or many people rather are dining in room and so he quoted me a time of another 10 to 15 minutes. He said my order is being prepared. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're staying somewhere during a pandemic. A lot of people are going to be ordering in-room dining. It's going to take longer than normal. I wish they had quoted me a time that was longer than normal. All right, guys, it is 8.57. I ordered my food at 7.06 but it did finally arrive and the shrimp is warm. So, okay, I need, I said that I ordered a salad. It's a salad with shrimp. So let's go ahead and see. Ooh, that is a big salad. Can you see this? Let me go ahead and see. Oh, it smells good. And I got some wine. I am so hungry, guys. I am so, oh, is this bread? Oh, there's bread. Okay. I'm instantly happier now, guys. Now that I have had a few bites of food and scarfed down one roll pretty much in one bite, <laughs> um, I do want to just emphasize that they were really, really nice and apologetic about the delay. My room service um, delivery person was wearing a face shield as well as a face mask. So there was a lot of effort to you know make me feel safe about the food and the food was at the correct temperature the shrimp for my salad was warm and the salad itself was still cold and crispy the croutons are crispy so that makes me feel good in the sense that my food wasn't sitting there for two hours while it was on its way to me but kind of suggests suggests to me that my order may have been forgotten so i'm glad that i did call I ordered through the online ordering system through the Terranea website. So maybe, you know, there was some lost communication, whatever. It was totally worth it. This is like the best shrimp Caesar salad that I've had in a while. The wine is great. And I'm, oh, I'm so much happier now that I have food in me. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are on our way to go paddle boarding. Look at this view. Isn't that phenomenal? I don't think you guys have even seen Anthony yet. All right, I'm here. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and take a little stroll, I guess. <laughs>
back, had a fun time. So I ended up pedal boarding and now I think we're gonna grab maybe some tea, some coffee, sit down for a little bit and then go, oh my God, you're so sweaty. Yeah, I just sorry. rubbed up against you, <laughs> it was so sweaty. Wow. Um, and then we are gonna probably sit by the pool today. It's gonna be like a hundred degrees. Yep. Hey guys, I spent the day by the pool and I don't know if you can tell, I got a little bit of color. I wore sunscreen and I reapplied, so, oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing. This is really bad for your skin. Don't do this. I don't know what happened. I think it was just because it was so hot today. Again, it, I wore sunscreen, I reapplied sunscreen, but it was like what, 100 degrees? It was crazy. So, take this as a lesson learned. Don't do this. Oh my goodness. So embarrassing. Hey guys, this is, I think, the first restaurant I've been to since lockdown started. We are in the great outdoors, and I'm very excited. We're doing a little pre-birthday dinner. Um, just at a restaurant nearby to Terranea called Avenue Italy. So come eat with us. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday, my, <laughs> my first restaurant in almost six months. <laughs> Welcome back. Here we've got some calamari and some bruschetta with prosciutto. Yum 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 in my tum. Ooh, it's warm. I can feel it. <laughs> we clearly hated it and are going to send it back. Alrighty, I have a house made fettuccine with a lemon cream sauce and scallops. And you have, what is this? The lobster ravioli lobster special. Lobster ravioli special. The lighting is not great, guys, because we're outdoors, but it's safer. Safer this way. This looks so good. I'm so excited. Finally, having something that feels almost normal. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. You cannot see anything because of the fog. Oh my goodness. It is our last day here at Terranea. We are just doing a little walk around the grounds to say goodbye, but there is some massive fog today. You cannot even see the ocean. It's crazy. Um, as you can see, I still have my little, my little sunburn situation here. Um, yeah, I had to wear an off the shoulder because even wearing like a bra strap was pretty uncomfortable. So. Wear sunscreen and apply regularly. Would you say that our stay was worthwhile? It was. I had a great time. Yeah, I think it was overall worthwhile. I think it was a nice little getaway, a nice little staycation, even during a pandemic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, bye!